not a winner, not a winner, not a winner. You won 10 cents. And he spent like $300. That's what, that's what it was. Unless the rules have changed. But when I was there, if you're under 18, you can't purchase lotto. And I feel like when people turn 18, the first thing that they want to do is like purchase a lotto ticket. So, you know, and that's fine. I did the same thing. But I didn't do it the day of my birthday. Did I? I don't know. But that's fine as long as they're 18. Because if you sell to a minor, even though you're thinking, bro, it's just a lotto ticket, it's an, a whole deal. If it's a winner, it usually makes a sound like da da da. But if it's not a winner, it's just like rrr. <laughs> it'd be the customers like it'd be the customers i get it we all trying to win and become a millionaire and this and that but like <laughs> sir do you really need a thousand tickets he's spending like his whole paycheck on this the ticket hey y'all welcome back to another spanging banging spanging video did those words make sense probably not but anyways i'm in a i'm in a mood today like i'm I'm happy to be talking to you guys. I'm grateful for how far we've gotten here on my channel. And we are on a road to 10K, so it's only up from here. So, with that being said, welcome back to another video. Um, if you're new here, my name is Patricia Isabel. And here on my channel, I love to do a lot of like helpful and advice videos. How to ace a job how to get the bag, how to do good in an interview, just like overall like lifestyle things, work things, like I think that's my social theme. Anyways, I try to push y'all into game because I want to see all of my subscribers win. I want to see everybody win. Honestly, that's really my main focus here Um, because I just touch different aspects like of life, like how to, you know, win in, in everything. But anyways, uh, in today's video in specific, I'm going to be touching the topic on how to use or how to dispense lotto so i've gotten this question a few times and y'all already know once i get a question more than once it's time to address it with a video matter of fact even when i get a single question nobody else has that question but that one person i'm gonna still address it <laughs> one thing about me i'm gonna address the question i'm gonna answer it anyway a lot of y'all were like patricia how do i use the lotto tell me how to use the lotto machine these customers is crazy trying to win <laughs> mega millions over here I got you. I done did that. I'm so happy I'm not doing that anymore because that auto machine, <laughs> that auto machine could be annoying at times. It'd be the customers. Like, it'd be the customers. I get it. We all trying to win and become a millionaire and this and that. But like, <laughs> sir, do you really need a thousand tickets? He's spending like his whole paycheck on this, the tickets. Anyways, that's none of my business. I just dispense it. And that's how y'all have to be too because we can't really say nothing to the customer. What are we going to be like? You know, like your child needs milk and you're over here spending a lot of money. Like, anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, or I can't show y'all, but I'm going to explain to you guys how to use the lotto machine. Um, this information is obviously based off of the company that I used to work for. Um, I've seen lotto machines, like obviously in different places and it all looks the same, but if you guys need me to cover anything else, like in depth to the specific machine, let me know. Um... But I'm just going to give you guys, like, I feel like a gist. Because I've never touched this topic before. Um, I feel like when I do other videos on, like, an interview or a job, I've touched those topics. And I'm more confident in terms of, like, okay, you know, if you guys are nervous, I did a video on that. So check that out. But And, like, I address whatever I'm talking about in that video. But in this video, I can't really refer you guys anywhere else because I've never made a video on Lotto. Crazy. But like I said, y'all brought it to my attention, so I'm here to answer it because maybe I didn't make a video for it, but I have the experience. So I got y'all. Um, before we get started, though, I need you to got me, okay? I need y'all to got my back. And I need y'all to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up because your girl's on a road to 10K and I'm extremely grateful for each and every one of you. Um, so without further ado, let's, let's get into it. So Lotto Machine, I mean... My customer service associates, y'all are probably going to be doing this. Um, customer service associate is something that I was trying to be since I was literally probably like a bagger. Like I, my dream at the time was like, I want to be in customer service. Like you get a different uniform. You can kind of like be in charge of the baggers and the cashiers. It gives you more like, makes you feel like you're on top. Like I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, only like 
when I got to be a customer service associate, like, I was like, okay, this is cool, but, like, you know, okay. <laughs> anyway, um, and one thing about it is even though, like, I guess to an extent you're in charge of the, char uh, the baggage and the cashiers, I always, like, I never, like, abused that, you know? I was never, like, I'm the boss now, and, yeah, like, no. It was always just, like, hey, don't forget to do this, you know, or, you know, can I help you do that later? I know that's a lot of work, and I don't want you to do it completely by yourself. Like, things like that. Like, you never want to be, make somebody feel so much less than you because one day you're up, but the next day they are, and the next day you're probably down. <laughs> so, anyways, um... One thing about the lotto machine, y'all, is people are going to want their tickets. You're going to have a machine that can print out, like, your tickets that come on on paper. Um, like, little, obviously, like, the little yellow paper thing. Like, literally, the machine prints it. It's printed paper. Um, and so, basically, these printed papers are going to be for Powerball, Mega Millions, um, and whatever other games, like Fast Play or whatever that's going to be on the machine all right so like i said customer service associates y'all have a lot to do y'all have lotto y'all have cigarettes y'all have sun passes y'all have returns y'all have western union you guys have a lot a lot of things and one of those things is also lotto and lotto can be a little bit tricky to understand i'm not gonna lie it was not my favorite thing at first i find it to be sometimes like i'd be kind of like annoyed with it um counting it was <laughs> Counting it was, mm, like, mm, I don't miss that. But um, in terms of dispensing it, like like I said, it's learnable. So you have your machine that's going to print out tickets, okay? This machine is like a computer screen. And in that computer screen is where you can select the games that, obviously, the customer wants to play. So let's say I'm a customer and I come up to you and you're the customer service associate in Lotto. And you're like, you know, hey, you know, whatever, how can I help you? I might say, oh, I want a Powerball. And Powerball, like I said, that's going to be a ticket that the machine prints. So all you have to do on the machine is literally select Powerball. You, you tap the button that says Powerball. And then a ticket is going to print. And when that ticket prints, you give it to me. And then I got to obviously come back whenever it's time to check it. Or like uh, if a customer wants you to check it, they'll let you know like, hey, can you check it? And you can literally run it through the machine and the machine checks it for you. Like you're not checking anything. You're just running it, it through. And then the machine is going to tell you, the little computer screen is going to be like not a winner or winner. If it's a winner, it usually makes a sound like da da da. But if it's not a winner, it's just like. Rrr. <laughs> so yeah, you just let the customer know like, no, you didn't win anything. You won a dollar, you won five dollars or you won five million dollars. Which, if they won $5 million, they can't win it, like, off of your store. What would happen is that a ticket gets printed, and it's going to be like he's or she's the winner. And they have to go redeem that money somewhere else. So you just tell the person that, and then they have to, like, go redeem it somewhere else. You can't, I think, like, give more than a certain amount. But obviously, this computer screen tells you everything. So you don't have to, like, memorize that, like, okay, if it's more than $100. Like, it's got to be, like, a million dollars that they win as to like why they couldn't collect that money from you and as to why they would have to go somewhere else i've literally given back people a thousand dollars so you know that's fine like i said you'll know when and, and that rarely ever happens but you'll know when you have to like send them somewhere um but anyways so you have obviously the machine that prints out those tickets um your manager or your trainer is going to tell you exactly how to use the machine like in terms of you know there's People who, although they'll say that they want a Powerball, sometimes they'll be like, I want two of them. So when you click Powerball, you just have to like select another option where like quantity or something like that, you're going to put two. So sometimes it does get a little bit tricky with that because people start adding stuff. Also, another one is like when you click Powerball, sometimes people want Power Play. And Power Play is basically like something that you can add on to Powerball. So... Um, when you click Powerball, you got to then also click, you know, Power Play. And then if they want two of that, you got to click Quantity 2 and then print it. So you basically just ask them everything that they want. I strongly suggest you don't print anything um, prior than, like, confirming it with them. Because if they don't want that ticket, then that ticket just stays there. And if it's more than, like, a certain amount of money, you might have to 
come out of you or somebody else because lotto can't be short you know what i'm saying so most tickets you can't always cancel them like sometimes you can cancel a quick powerball like you have to run it through the machine you have to learn how to like cancel the ticket but it becomes a, i feel like a little bit more complicated so i would just strongly strongly suggest um that you guys like confirm with the customer what they want and you know obviously you don't want to argue with these customers but if they're like oh no never mind you let them know like i can't cancel this ticket so like you know and if they're like no but i don't you know i don't want it then just call over your manager or if it's a cancelable if it's a can um like cancelable ticket that's fine but sometimes you will do this stuff with like 20 dollar tickets and like that could be a problem so make sure like i always like to confirm you know like okay this is what you want so <laughs> anyways um aside from that because that's a whole like thing within itself and like i feel like that's like a whole learning process um within itself you're also going to have right next to that machine something called scratch offs i personally love scratch offs because they're just like fun like i don't like the little printed machine ones i like the little scratch offs and it's hard for people to win off scratch offs like big big amounts but you want the little amounts like i feel like you have more chances to win with the scratch offs so anyways um yeah you just have these like scratch offs i feel like do y'all know what scratch offs are basically like it's a piece of like cardboard paper with the numbers and then people can like literally scratch off the numbers and if it's the numbers that the scratch off says it needs to have then they win money and you have like your dollar scratch offs up until like i think your $30 scratch offs at least my store did 30 I feel like there's places that probably do maybe a little bit more but my store only went up to like $30 scratch offs and people will tell you like I want a scratch off like you don't have to memorize in terms of like okay Powerball is on the machine and I don't know like because like the names be sometimes like the games from the scratch offs the names be changing but let's say they're like I want the ugly duckling or something like that because the scratch offs be having weird names um you don't have to like memorize like is that a scratch off or a ticket like they'll tell you like i want the scratch off ugly duckling so um it's pretty simple and it also goes by number sometimes like to make it easier it, because people don't know how to read or people you know can't see it they just put them through numbers so the ugly duckling scratch off might be number five and the customer might just come up to you and be like can i can i get number five scratch off um so you just like go into the scratch offs drawer whatever you you know rip it out and you give it to them always make sure you collect the money first because i've done this mistake too collect the money first L like let them show you the money okay because they can come in there and ask you for ten thousand power balls and 30 30 dollar tickets and then not pay you for none of that and that's going to become an s-h-i-t show okay so Save yourself some time, save yourself some drama, save yourself some hassle, and make sure the money's in your hand first, and then you give them the scratch off. Sometimes they'll take the scratch offs home. Sometimes they'll move to the corner and scratch it off and see if they want something, because obviously those tell you right away. So like, I feel like a lot of like older people like to play these, especially like the grandmas and stuff. They'll be like, can I get the $1 scratch off? And sometimes you gotta ask them like, which one because there's five different one dollar ones they'll be like oh i'll take all five or i'll take these three or i'll take two like whatever you give them to them they might scratch it off sometimes they'll tell you to scratch it off for them um and all you gotta do is like get like a key or a penny or something and scratch them off and then you can check it with the machine so i feel like another common question is like girl i don't know how to play scratch offs like i can dispense them but i don't know how to play them you don't have to i don't know how to play scratch offs to this day and i probably should learn because maybe i could win something like i'm a pretty lucky person like maybe i would have won something but anyways you don't need to like um know how to play it or anything you can scratch off this little code in the bottom of the scratch off and then you scan that scratch off in the machine right where you check the tickets and stuff you can also scan um the scratch off barcode and then that will tell you if they won or not and how much and if they want something obviously you give it to them from the till that's going to be in the drawer and that's why i always emphasize to people the importance of knowing how to deal with a till and how to be a cashier and things like that because everything involves it 
and that's no different with lotto you know if they if it tells you that they won you know five dollars you gotta open up your till and know how to give them five dollars or you know if they owe you 10 and they give you 15 you gotta know you gotta give them a certain amount of change back you can input it into the system and the system will let you know everything is like there for you for you to succeed so i feel like it's not super hard um but i know it can be a little bit tricky at, at first because it's like a lot of things happening there's so many games and people who buy lotto i feel like they're they can be at times impatient um because i mean they're like i want to win oh my god i lost and you're like okay next um so yeah so i mean like i said there's different ways sometimes they might fill out those little like cards in the lotto station and then bring them to you and then you got to run them through so it's basically just consists of you scanning stuff scanning stuff i had this one customer who would buy like a hundred tickets a hundred tickets every time he came out i was like oh my god can somebody else take him and he'd buy like a hundred tickets so i'd have to input it in the system like 10 power play 10 mega millions 10 whatever and it would print and print and print and print until finally 100 tickets. And I gave it to him. But you know what the worst part was? When he would come back and I had to check all of them. So I had to, mm, not a winner. Not a winner. Not a winner. You won 10 cents. And he spent like $300. That's what that's what it was. Anyway, um, yeah, I feel like that kind of covers like the main, main things. Like I said, they can... Go to their own station and fill out like an actual lotto card and then they'll have you check that because they can win money off of that as well. But aside from that, that's pretty much it. Um, it's not super complicated. It's just like little things that can mess you up. Um, so make sure you're like on top of it. But yeah, if y'all want me to cover anything else in like specific or in depth, let me know because you know i feel like there's so many different specifics that i i would want like a better idea but that's kind of like the gist of it like of all of it and how it really happens and goes down so if y'all have any other questions reach out to me go ahead and comment down below like what your experience is like if you have already dealt with lotto or if you're about to deal with lotto or if you've purchased lotto shit <laughs> like a lot of people when they're 18 they want to purchase lotto oh and that's the other thing you gotta id them if they're under 18 okay um or if they look like they're under what is it like 25 or something you gotta id them because unless you're 18 you can't purchase lotto unless the rules have changed but when i was there if you're under 18 you can't purchase lotto and i feel like when people turn 18 the first thing that they want to do is like purchase a lotto ticket so you know and that's fine i did the same thing but i didn't do it the day of my birthday did i i don't know but that's fine as long as they're 18 because if you sell to a minor even though you're thinking bro it's just a lotto ticket it's an, a whole deal so make sure they're over 18 okay and like confirm with your manager the age just in case anything has changed which i don't think it has but just confirm but yeah if they're under 18 they cannot be buying lotto it's specifically for over 18 and it's just something that i feel like the young generation they don't go crazy about lotto but sometimes they want to just go see what a scratch off is because their grandma buys them but you can't sell it to them if they're underage anyways um that concludes today's video thank you guys so much for watching um don't forget to like comment and subscribe because we're on a road to 10k and i'll see you guys in my next video bye